Hey everybody, welcome to the first episode of Falcon Freeborn. We are sitting in clan territory right now, that's where we started. And I'm going to quickly go and show you guys, just so you know, settings wise. They went through the same settings here, so difficulty settings, eight parts, st standard setup as I always go with the exception. I added a few more C bills to start. And I'm realizing that it should have probably been up here more, because when I got in, um, let's go back here. We were left with not very many seal bills, sea bills left. Normally we start with like a couple of million, and that's not happening out here in the clan worlds. My guess is because of the number of what the mechs you get probably affect that. So let's have a quick look. We're going to go through everything again real quick here. Let's have a look in the barracks. So sorry to say we flushed out all the expensive mech warriors just because we're at 574000 per uh, per month now. That's pretty expensive for um, starting off here. And I kept the low priced mech warriors, they're pretty much all the same, um, with the exception of cost. So uh, we kept the lower price, the lowest price ones I could find. Um, she's probably still a little bit overpriced, um, but right now that was the, uh, the uh, third lowest priced one. Uh, and then we've got uh, one mech warrior that I was able to pick up um, called Shotgun inside of. Uh, um, the uh, hiring hall. So we got one extra mech warrior here. Um, so we're starting off. I mean, she's more than what I would expect to pay for most. Like these ones are under 20 grand, but uh, right now we're kind of stuck this way. So that's what we got there. Now the big thing is the mech bays. So yeah, we start off with some pretty damn good mechs. Um, well, at least I consider them damn good for starting because I've never. Uh, had a clan start before so uh, you know I don't really know any better but uh, let's have a look at storm crow here uh, first mech 55 tons um, have a quick look if we can get in here real fast all right so uh, ER large laser on each arm ER medium laser on each arm and another ER medium laser in the head tons of double heat sinks pretty damn good heat efficiency here um, 132 heat sink alpha strike 140 so we are going to be firing a lot with this guy this is our primary uh mech so and it's got okay armor not amazing armor but okay to start um you'll notice the omni mechs here start with fixed um equipment so the uh, omni mech engine is a fixed engine um and the uh, omni mech gyro is a fixed gyro so it's cheaper to repair easier to move stuff around um but uh, it's got increased, uh, um, where is it here, uh, increased stability, um, things like that. So this is just a standard Omnimac engine and uh, XL engine. It comes in all Omnimacs and this, in, like here's the engine here. Three additional heat sinks, 275 kilometers an hour, maximum top speed. I guess you could check the movement up here, but you know, I like to know the uh, kilometers an hour. 711. Um, so that's actually pretty good for the main mech. I mean, with the exception of the armor being slightly lower, um, I'm really happy with that starter mech. Uh, and then let's have a look here. The Cougar is the second one. Let's have a quick look at this guy. So we got four ER mediums in the one arm and a Gauss rifle in the other, uh, and an ER medium in the head. The heat sinking is not all that great, as you can tell, but if we cycle out the ERs in the Gauss back and forth, um, like fire two ERs in a Gauss or three ERs in a Gauss, we should be okay. I might end up taking a couple of these out and maybe a ton of Gauss ammo because we are very low on armor, especially in the legs. So I might, because we can't fire everything anyway, we might just uh, take a couple of these out and up armor the mech, but that will leave for now. And then we've got the adder. This guy's not too bad either. And we've got a large pulse laser in the one arm. ER medium here. Flamer in the center torso, which I am assuming uh, will not. Um, I'm not sure why it's this color. Oh, maybe because it's fixed in the center torso, that's probably why. All right, that's interesting. Uh, a little better armor, but not much better. Um, it'll be 5x in the arm. So once again, this is one of those things where we're going to have to up armor this guy by most likely pulling weapons out 
uh, way overheating here so we'll have to figure that out we're not going to be shifting too many things around to start I think it's a pretty good look I mean we don't have any gear in, the, in to, to move around other than moving from one mech to another anyway or pulling something and adding armor is really all we can do uh, so the Grinner here we've actually faced this guy before um, we got an ER large laser in the arm and one, two, three medium pulses and an ER medium in here as well. Once again, heat, heat efficiency is garbage, but the armor is slightly better, which is pretty good. We want to have, you know, half decent armor on our guys, especially facing the clans. And the Nova, 50 ton Nova. Let's have a look at this guy. Once it comes up. All right, so this is our fire support. We got uh, three ATMs for a total of 18 uh, missile bays. Um, a variety of ammo here. We got regular ATM ammo, ATM HE, which is good for point blank attacks. Um, it does a lot more damage. And then we have the uh, ATM ER for long range fire. Not sure how often we'll use that, but we've got it if we need it. And then we've got uh, three ER medium lasers over here in the arm. Uh, heat efficiency, once again, not that great, but with this mech I don't really care because it's either going to be firing from a distance or um, being close with these guys. So it most likely be either or, but we'll see how it goes. Now we've got jump jets to work with here. This is the only mech I think we, we got that we have jump jets. So I could pull these off and just completely up armor this guy, but he's got really great armor already as it is. So um, yeah, I don't think we'll be doing much with this guy. And then we've got... You can understand now after you see all these guys, you can understand why the clans just are so terrifying to go up against at low levels. And the Kit Fox, let's have a look, quick look here. So I would have expected with all those canisters on the shoulder for uh, it to be Flamer unit, but it's not. So we got a Gauss, Gauss rifle here. Uh, once again, this is like the worst armored mech out of all the ones we have, so it's pretty terrible. A uh, pair of ER mediums and a Gauss rifle. If we can find something lighter than the Gauss to put in here, I think we'll probably do that. Um, just so that we can upper arm armor it a bit. Um, but once again, this guy can just be long range fire and har uh, harassment mech. Uh, it's running really, really cool, so we don't have to really worry about heat sinking on it. So it might be one of those cases where we pull the Gauss rifle from, from here, put it somewhere else, and put some ERs in this guy, plus uh, max out the armor. So if we're pulling lasers from one, uh, maybe we... Uh, switch this out and we'll figure some stuff out anyway. It's going to require a little bit of thinking. Alrighty, so, but now that we've got all that done, first thing we want to do obviously is go to the engineering section and we're going to get our power ship, our uh, power conduits repaired. First thing we're going to do, because uh, the first thing we always do, and then we have to jump systems because if we look at the star map here, when you start off in clan space, we're at uh, Stranamecti and yeah this is like a four and a half skull planet so we can't really do any fighting here there's only a handful of places which you can see here where a lot of people are anyway um that are like you know really low skull worlds. so there's this one here it's a half skull this one's a one skull world it's only 20 days away this one here um is a half skull and then as we go around and take a look it's harder to get to some of these places but you know the skulls really climb so there's really only this is our the only um, Jade Falcon world left, uh, we are from Clan Jade Falcon, this is the only world left, so we're going to attempt, if we can, to try and flip some worlds back, but most it's most unlikely that that will happen, But um, and it's going to take quite a while because these, are, these worlds around here that uh, Jade Falcons can possibly have influence on are uh, really high skull worlds, so it's not like we're going to be doing anything anytime soon. So we're going to most likely go here. It's a half skull world and we'll just travel right away because we can't actually do anything on the planet we're on and we'll head over there um, now upon arrival um, we're going to try and take as many local government missions against the clans as possible uh, or clan on clan fighting doesn't really matter um, if we can fight local local government we will but i don't really think that's going to give us anything that's going to be of any value with exception of sea bills um, which we do need a lot of sea bills every month Thank you. Now, normally, um, normally we would go straight into the second mech bay, but with that being seven hundred thousand, I don't know if we'll make our our financial report based on because we haven't seen any contracts yet. 
So uh, what I'll probably do is I'm going to grab the training module for 990,000 uh, right now. Uh, we're going to need it anyway, so let's just get that going while we're on our, our travel here. I really wanted the second mech bay, but once again, it's one of those things where we got to be careful here with our sea builds early on. So if you guys are starting in the clan worlds, I think maybe jacking it up to max amount of sea builds to start might be a good thing. Um, I feel confident that we'll be okay. So, uh, so the stores here don't look to be anything special. At least they got MML ammo, um, LRM Deadfire ammo, Ando Steel. Nothing really amazing. It's mostly the Inner Sphere stuff, so we're not really going to get much out of that. So let's have a look really quick contract-wise and see what we got here. And we'll just reload it real quick. So hopefully there's lots of things that we can do here. Looks like there's a fair bit here. Uh, repossession, ambushing a convoy, letter of mark, battle, that's easy. It's smoke jaguar. Is this, uh, this is smoke jaguar. Local brigands, clean out the mercs, should be no problem. Civilian extraction, escort mission, that's relatively easy to do. Lost air. Should be able to do this one. Kidnapping by Clan Wolf. There's a Jade Falcon one here. I don't know if we'll be able to do it. One and a half skull. We might be able to. It's Battle in Desert, but against Smoke Jaguar. We'll see how that goes. Um, I know we should really be um, helping the Jaguars out as much as possible, but really we got to take whatever we can to uh, just survive. So these are really low sea bill missions. This one's not too bad. I think this one might be the best way to go to start. If we go for primarily, hmm, if we go for primarily C bills and lay off, we can get our second mech bay up and running. I think so. Let's negotiate this real quick. Um, if we go this route, that should give us our second mech bay. Um, yeah, it's. I mean, the escort mission is probably a bad mission to start, though. We still got what? How many days do we have left? Eighteen. Let's choose another one then. Uh, let's just choose. Just I want to get a feel for this. Um, so ambush convoy. No, it's two lances at once. Letter of mark is probably a good one to start with. We can negotiate this and go probably. Well, probably this route one five. I think we'll go this route. Let's accept this. Um, Stormcrow Prime, uh, Nova. Let's add this guy in. And now the Cougar is the ERs and the Goss. He's super overheatable, but these guys have all got low armor too, right? So large pulse, probably better chance to hit with a large pulse. That's a good possibility. This one's got lousy armor so let's go with the adder and then the griff is going to be in here um, let's bring in uh, why isn't El Duce isn't this what they used to call Mussolini El Duce or am I wrong could be wrong about that I thought that was a nick the nickname for uh, Mussolini why would you have anyway not even going to figure that out. Uh, let's bring Blockade in, and I'm going to bring, um, oh god, let's bring Mockingbird in. We got our, here's our Lance rating. Like, I don't think this is anywhere near, like, the look at the drop cost. Look at this. This is just cost prohibitive at this stage in the game. I don't know whether I got really luck with lucky with Clan Mix, or if this is just, like, I don't even know. Like, it's, that doesn't even really change it. Hundred thirty-five thousand for drop. Okay. Well, we're gonna take it and see what happens. <clears throat> All right, enemies are always detected in the area. Well, this is a it sure is. 
Um, hmm. All right, let's go up here. Do 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 yep. do do. On my way, double time. All right, at least we got some good speed here. Waiting for orders. I get a feeling we're just gonna obliterate these guys. My biggest fear, though, is the overheat. got phenomenal initiative in these mechs too even with just the basic of pilots <clears throat> yeah we're pretty good here yeah, you can't actually go anywhere so uh, yeah we'll reserve all right Griff it's the Griff Okay, so we are uh, Clan Jade Falcon Freeborn. And if you guys don't know that much about the clans, I mean, I don't know a tremendous about them either, but not about them either, but uh, the clans, their main pilots are all eugenically created. Uh, the Freeborn pilots basically were used as second line units or uh, reserve units or um, garrison units. So um, we're the Freeborn units. We are basically sent out to do the crap work for Clan Jade Falcon. Now, I know we are a mercenary company in, in this game, but uh, we're going to try and further Jade Falcon's interests as best we can. <clears throat> Which might not be all that much, because they don't own much. But we're going to try and stick with the Falcon... Uh, the Falcons as much as possible. And what do we got here? Urban Mech 2C, wow. That's a lot of heat. Yeah, we can go this route, though. Let's fire these. Wow. Well, I think that was an arm. I don't know. May not have been. El Duce. Um, okay. Something's still blowing up over there. Let's fire these. Wow, oh, he's almost gone, eh? Let's hopefully, hope we get lucky and get a few CT hits here. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Badass. All right. What else do we got here? Grinner and a grinner. Let's see if we can finish this guy up. I don't like the idea of that uh, AC-10 shooting at us. So let's leave the large. Wow. Look at that, eh? I think we take the large pulse off of this guy. Maybe put a few more ER mediums on. <clears throat> it's going to save six tons. A ton of heat. Well, well, I don't know. The accuracy though, right? Let's go this route. Should be able to finish this guy up, I think. There we go. Okay, they only got three units to start. Now these guys got pulse lasers, I think. They may not be in range. So those guys could have been the reinforcements, I don't know. Okay, he's moving in. <clears throat> yeah, pulse lasers. Not very accurate. 
So this is a half skull mission. Let's move into here. Let's see if we can take that piranha down. <clears throat> I want to keep this upper ledge here for us. Yeah, it doesn't look too good of a chance. Ah, even worse on this guy. Look at the heat. Um... Let's go this route. Locked on. Well, I'd like to say that was a good start, but it wasn't. Okay, there's more guys somewhere. Commando 2C. <clears throat> good shooting, Tex. And somebody we haven't seen yet. From what I hear, clans don't like melee. So we're going to try to avoid melee as much as we can. And let's go this route. All right. Scored a critical hit. You certainly did. Ready for orders. Let's get over here as well. Can we get to a place where we can... Yeah, but they can see us there. Well, let's just move here. Copy that. I know we're having a hard time seeing them from here, but that's fine. It's uh, mitigated by the fact that um, he's unstable here. So let's take out the ER large, put the medium pulse... Wow. Really? Okay, I just messed up there. Let's go this route. Fire all these. Firing on target. Come on. Okay, he's going down. <clears throat> this guy really isn't a threat, but I want to try and get rid of him as fast as possible just so we have the upper shelf here. Okay. Receiving El Duce. Um, let's do this and we'll switch up our loadout here go for a CT hit and fire that should do it yep Okay, two of the mainland's gone. Uh, now, how aggressive do I want to be here? Probably not very. That's going to put me in a position to be shot at by an awful lot of people. That's not so bad. At least we're in the trees. So we got something else back here that we didn't see yet. Firestarter, Grinner, Commando, Grinner. Okay. Yeah, let's go with these again. Okay, nice big chunky hit with the ER large. Okay, not so bad. I think we're going to come out of this. Well, unless we get a head hit. We're going to come out of this pretty well off, I think. I should have paid a bit more attention. Oh, crap. Fire starters. I forgot about the Gauss rifle. I think I should have paid a bit more attention to what we were looking for out of this mission. Salvage-wise. But we're only getting one of five, so I mean... Some kind of energy weapon. Everyone's got energy weapons in our, our loadouts here, so. <clears throat> Guy's really overheating. Alright, Griff. 
let's uh, put some side pressure on these guys, get our stability back. Uh, I think we want to shoot the uh, fire starter. Really is the best chance too, so we're going to go the same route and fire. Yeah, man. Don't think I think the Gauss rifle's in the torso here, not in the arm. Let's have a quick look. I'm pretty sure it's in the torso. I have no idea. Okay. Let's see where they're going here. This guy's going to come up against the wall, which means we shouldn't have to worry about him shooting us. Nope, I'm wrong. Me being wrong? What? Not possible. How often am I, am I wrong? More times than not. Okay. Yeah, man. Let's get on this fire starter, please. Um... Way too much, eh? Like, we can't even use all our weapons. I know it's a hot planet, but we definitely need to strip some stuff. Rejiggy stuff, for sure. Well, I mean, the other way to do this is to to go with hit and run on all our guys. Okay, that guy's drunk now. Who's going next? Commando's coming back. What's up, Bubba? Okay. Commander. El Duce. Roger. See what we can use against this fire starter. Uh, the ATMs will definitely knock him down. Uh, let's go this route. See if we can just take him out. Leg, torso, whole mech gone. Mech destroyed. Okay. Yep. Okay, blockade. Let's get back here. Gonna minimize our shots here. Take out the ER. Fire all the pulses. I think if we get a. Uh, chance to get something here. We're just going to take pulse lasers. A critical hit. Like swapping out a pair of ER mediums for pulses. Wouldn't be that bad. Wow, that's a lot of hits. Armor breach. Internal damage. I'm here. Let's just change our sides around. It's running hot. Definitely want to use the flamer. And let's fire this. Reporting critical hit. Let's hope we pick up some clan double heat sinks off this. Okay, let's see if we can nail this commando here. <clears throat> So let's just go with these two. It's going to be 37% chance to hit. We might as well fire the big ones. Commander. Okay, let's get back here. No point letting the other guy see us. And yeah, we'll fire the medium pulses, I think. Wow. Bad. Okay, we're taking a lot of armor dammer. Dammer. Damage. <clears throat> armor dammer. Ready for orders. Let's back it up to here. Uh, pull off an ER medium, fire the rest. Target taking a critical hit. 
And he's going down. Which means he should be dead next turn. Kind of thankful they don't have any heavy hitting weapons here. With the exception of the Gauss Rifle, which is gone. The pulse lasers are hitting a fair bit, but because they're splash damage, they're not doing that pinpoint heavy damage through single locations, which is keeping us in the game pretty well. Pretty well. Okay, Griff. Let's hammer this guy. Um. Sure. You shut down, eh? Bad time to get shut down. Died a hero's death, though, I guess. Then there was two. Waiting for orders. El Duce. See if we can see these guys. There we go. Uh, you, mm, let's go this route. Yeah. Reading you. I should be paying more attention to the ammo. Sorry, guys. I'm just not used to the new system. Um. Yeah, let's go this route. Firing. Scored a critical hit. You certainly did. Come on, let's get in here and finish this up. Uh, let's go this route. Um, yeah, we can't fire the large, unfortunately. Nice. Okay, then there, then there was one. And he's overheating, so let's see what he does here. Not even going to cool down, anybody. Eh, and he's shut down. Yes, Commander. Location confirmed. Ah, see if we can leg him. Affirmative. Nope. Take that though. Reporting critical hit. Uh, I'm gonna reserve. Hang on a second here. Let's just reserve. Orders. Yeah. So. So all the ammo's gone. I guess it just cycles through. It says 60 though. Right, okay, so we're out of normal ammo. Right, that makes sense. So I haven't played with armor switching yet, so I just wanted to, or ammo switching yet, so I just wanted to make sure I was seeing the right thing here. There we go. Sucks to be you. Gotta pay more attention to that. Mission successful. Alright, so 45,000. Not a lot. Let's just see if we lost anything. I don't think we did. I just want to double check. I am not the most ob a observant person. We did take some internal damage, but not a whole lot. We didn't have much armor on the legs, too, so. Alright, so we don't have to replace anything. Let's have a look what we got here. ATM 3 Ultra 10. ECMs, double heat sinks, 
which might be a way to go. IATM. Um, hmm. Maybe the medium pulse for now. <clears throat> the Ultra 10's nice. It's got a 2 recoil and jam multiplier 5, which means there's a 10% chance to jam the first turn, 20% the second turn. And if we take it, we need to have at least two tons of ammo. Which, there's two tons down here, but we only get one selection. So I'm going to take the medium pulse laser. I know it's something we can immediately implement. And we'll go from there. Okay, we got the IAT IATM3. We've got a double heatsink, which is great. Greener part, uh, heatsink. Yeah, not bad. All right, a lot of stuff going on here. Nothing we need to be concerned about unless we see uh, Jade Falcon taking something. Uh, 52,000 in repairs, which is a fair bit. Um, thinking we're hit more hit and run tactics, hit with a lot of stuff, and then back off. We're, we got the speed for that kind of thing, so we could do that. The Adder and Stormcrow were the ones that only took only ones that took damage, which isn't too bad. So nine days, 12 days in total, so it's not so bad. We didn't really make enough to get. Uh, our next mech bay, but we do have another mission coming up, so um, let's finish this training module up. Yep, thank you. Don't care about the inner sphere right now. Hey boss, we just completed those upgrades. Okay, so the training module is updated, so if we go figure 130 something thousand for our drop costs, we'd have to do civilian extraction and go full, it's an escort, and go full uh, sea bills in order to get that second mech bay up and running. Yeah, we're not going to do that right now. I think we're going to take, uh, clean out the mercs. Um... Uh, This is Jade Falcon. We don't want to really go against the Falcons. Uh, so this is against pirates. Let's go this one. Uh, convoy ambush shouldn't be too bad. I don't know what we do here. It's 135. That's our drop cost right there. Let's go this route. It's not a lot, but we need to start making sea bills. Not going to really be doing it with half skull missions, but maybe we can get some some components out of this. And we don't have our guys back because I wasn't watching again. Four days. All right. So rather than doing that, then let's see if there's something a little higher we can take. Uh, last mech standing. Pirate battle mechs. Shoot to kill. Trap sprung. Powerful mech smoke jaguars. Let's go against the pirates here. Um, this will give us enough for... Uh, Let's go this route. This will give us enough for our next, our, for the uh, mech bay. So let's get that started. Oops, engineering. Ship upgrades. All right, uh, let's get this started. I feel confident enough we can do that now. Um, back to contracts. Last mech standing. Let's do this, guys. Not going to get anything out of this, but I'm good with that. Okay, move in, clear them out. Chances are they got reinforcements coming, so... Yeah, it's always a hellhole. Um, we'll try and kill these guys up front fast. 
I was just thinking while we were loading in here, um, the problem with um, starting off in clan worlds um, isn't so much the cost. I mean, the cost, yeah, it's you can figure that out. That shouldn't be too bad. I mean, you've got pretty good mechs to start with. It's not like you're lacking gear in any way, unless I got extremely lucky. Um, I doubt it, though. I think for the most part, you're going to be starting off with half decent mechs out here. Um, sea bills is obviously the problem, but um, I think the biggest thing, though, is there's no... I don't want to say upward mobility, because there is. Like, you can expand your lands to bigger and better clan equipment. The issue is, is there's nowhere to go. Like, once you get the biggest and best clan equipment, it's not like you head to the inner sphere and then go, okay, well, we got tougher enemies now, because you don't. Right? If you want your campaign to last a long time, um, it might just be better to always start off in the inner sphere. Right? Build your way up inner sphere tech and then hit the clans. Just my two cents on it. Standing by. But, you know, it's, it's hard to kind of like... I can totally understand trying to balance that because um, there's such a huge disparity in technology from the clans to the inner sphere. It's not like you start off with easier gear out here or something, right? Um, anyway. I just like that feeling of starting off with like nothing in the inner sphere and then working your way out to the clans where the where the competition is really tough, right? Okay, he's gone down, it sounds like. But don't get me wrong, this is fun too. I like this. Because, you know, they've got just... If you're fighting clanners, they've got just as much powerful gear as you do. So... You could die very easily out here. Alright, let's go for a CT hit on this guy. It is a stinger. Uh, I'm going to leave the medium pulses off. Uh, yeah, I'll just fire these two. That's a kill. Freaking pirates. Ooh, I thought that was going to hit. Because this uh, version of Battletech, what's this? Full found. Because this version of Battletech is not really, I mean, it is canon with the with the mechs and everything, uh, but because it's not obviously completely accurate, because getting the AI system to work, you know, the way the clans would work and the inner sphere would work and stuff is extremely difficult. I wonder if they should come up with a different reason why there's like pirates out here. I don't know. Just talking out loud right now while we blow these guys up. Thinking out loud, I guess, not talking out loud, because talking is out loud. Let's take advantage of this guy's uh, inability to, act, to uh, actively do anything. Wow. Wow. Get on this guy. Roger. Now, can't fire everything. Let's leave these off. Just fire the ERs. That looked like a head hit to me. Yep. Yes, Commander. Where you going, man? Block it with your face. Oh, no, 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 man. We got shooting, too. Always got shooting. Always shooting. And yeah, go this... Eh, maybe not that much. Yeah, let's go this route. See if we... Well... Nah, I don't know if we need this much. I don't even think we need... Well, we'll probably need that, but I'm just going to leave it off just so we stay cool here. That look shoot that should be it. No? Really? That hit something. 
good. Wow, that was close. Okay, Blackjack. Well, we'll see if we got reinforcements here in a second. Uh-huh. Thanks for coming out. Good move, though. He's protecting his side. This should be it. If we actually hit, for Christ's sake, that should do it. Yep. Oh, that was a right torso hit. I thought it was a CT. Destroyed. Ah, close enough. What do you need? What do you need? I need you to kill this freaking guy, man. Roger. He should be dead by now. What's going on? Um. Uh, HE, close range. Might as well. That's pretty damn good chance to hit. Why did that ER shit, dude? Really? Ouch. <laughs> I need some more of that HE ammo, man. Uh, let's reserve. I don't think you need to move. Yeah. Affirmative. Stay at range. Try and target this guy's arm. Locked on. Or we can blow his leg off, too. That works. He's going down. Waiting for orders. All right, might as well move now. Let's get over here. Copy that, Commander. Um, yeah, let's go for the torso. Might as well. Um. Sure. Okay, at least there's no reinforcements on this one. That hit something good. It sure did. See what he does here. Not like he can actually do much. Yeah. Commander? Ordinance received. Let's give him an honorable death. How much heat do we have over? Way more than we need here. It's just fire. But that hurt. AC2 ammo jettisoned. Line up on him. And let's send him home to the junkyard. There it is, folks. Enemy mech destroyed. Mission successful. All right. So 686,000 payout. Nice. Some good experience across the board. And a wolfhound part. All right. Wolf took Grand Station from Hell's Horses, did they? And two days for repair. Not bad. Mostly our mech pilots that uh, are taking time to come back. Financial report in six days. Everything's back in six days, pretty much. So, not too bad. Um, so, I'm thinking, at the end of every uh, episode, what I might do is any mech parts that we get that are not clan mechs, um, I'm going to get rid of. Uh, we're only going to go with clan stuff here. So, we're going to just get rid of anything that's old inner sphere tech. 
Um, we do need a little extra C bills, so I don't mind doing that with this particular uh, um, series. So what we'll, that's what we'll do is we'll, anything that's inner sphere stuff is gone. We'll scrap it and just keep the clan tech. Uh, now, as far as weapons and stuff goes, that's debatable. I mean, we're mostly going to be getting clan weapons and stuff here, but we might keep a few things. But for the most part, any mech salvage we'll just get rid of. All right, guys. So we're going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, drop a like in the, in the uh, likes down below. Um, also, drop a comment in the comment section down below. Always love good comments. And until next time, we'll see you later.